Welcome to Mecco Graphics. The following video is an overview of how to use axis breaks in charts. Axis breaks are generally used for outlier data and allow you to shrink larger segments and enhance readability for the smaller segments in your charts. Have you ever done an analysis or collected the data for a chart, but the chart doesn't quite support the message? This often happens when you have outliers in your data that skew your chart. Now here's a trend chart comparing your company to a competitor. You want to show that you're outperforming the competitor most of the time, but it's hard to see that because of the large negative return in 2008. Inserting an axis break allows you to better compare the performance in all the years. So we're going to double click this chart to open it. And in Mecco Graphics, you can right click either the bar or on the axis where you'd like to insert the break. And Mecco Graphics will insert the break based on your data. Then you can resize your break if you want. I'm just hovering over that break and I can see the boundaries and I'm just clicking and dragging to adjust the height of my break. When I adjust the break, it applies to the axis and to all the segments sharing the same range as that axis. I can remove the break if I want, I'm not going to. And then when I'm satisfied, I can just go ahead and click off the chart. Now let's look at one more chart. This is a cascade chart, and it's an earnings comparison chart. But it's pretty hard to see all those individual components of change here. So we're going to double click this chart and insert an axis break which is going to allow us to see all of those individual components leaning to our total more clearly. So I can hover over that break and right click and I can actually change the style. I'm going to choose the diagonal line here. And again, I can also adjust the boundaries of that break. So I'm just clicking and dragging to resize the boundaries of that of that axis break and I have here my diagonal break. And by the way, if I wanted to rotate this chart, if I want to change the layout, I'm just going to go to the layout menu and change to horizontal. And you can see that my axis breaks retain in this case. They retain upon rotating the chart. And we'll go back to a vertical chart and we'll just click off the chart. And this concludes our video on axis breaks. If you have questions, please email us at support at mechographics.com. And thanks for watching.